Graduates, I am humbled to stand before you today. As a triathlete, I like to think of our journey through Berkeley as a triathlon. But instead of swimming, biking, and running, I propose that our odyssey consisted of questioning, vulnerability, and orientation. And as we look back from today's finish line, I encourage us to think about the profound influence that Berkeley has had on our development. Much like the turbulent and disorienting swim start in a triathlon, our Cal experience began with a phase of questioning. As a freshman, I had my fair share of questions. Which dining hall has the best food? What is a GSI? How the hell do I find my way out of Dwinell? <laughs> and of course, turn down for what? The more questions we asked, the more we learned. I remember realizing that a month's worth of laundry does not fit into one load. Quinoa is pronounced quinoa and not quinoa. And coffee truly is the elixir of life. While our basic questioning may have subsided, Berkeley has encouraged us to keep asking the important questions. Most recently, when violent protests accompanied the invitation of certain conservative speakers to campus, we had to ask, how can we promote free speech and public safety at the same time? There is no clear answer to this question, yet our dedication to wrestling with pressing issues is why the rest of the world watches us. Free speech is not dead, and Berkeley is not a bubble. I would argue that it is a place of continual renaissance where conflicting ideologies engage on the highest stage of intellectual rigor. In the spirit of Berkeley, as we move forward, I encourage us to continue asking and grappling with the important questions. In phase two of our journey, the phase of vulnerability, every single one of us experienced challenges that shook us up. As a privileged white boy from Southern California, I often shy away from discussing personal struggles, but I've come to realize that no matter how fortunate I've been in the grand scheme of things, it is okay to be vulnerable and fall back on others. In my freshman year, I experienced the devastating loss of a high school water polo co-captain and friend, and I internalized much of my sorrow. I then struggled to let go of playing water polo, a lifelong passion, to pursue other academic and research interests. I also had my first real experience with love and heartbreak. All of us were rattled in some way during our time at Cal. As we think back to our hardships, let's thank our family, friends, and mentors, many of whom are here today, for their unwavering support. In a very literal example of me breaking down, at the Collegiate Triathlon National Championships in Alabama a few weeks ago, I gave it my all and collapsed 150 yards from the finish line with a 107 degree temperature. I thought my race was over. Then, in an epic display of sportsmanship, two competitors sacrificed their finishing positions to escort me across the line. This story is the perfect metaphor for an important lesson I've learned at Cal. By embracing vulnerability, and the support of others, we can accomplish much more than we can alone. Graduates, with tremendous resilience and the help of our families and friends, we've succeeded in graduating from the number one public university in the world. In the final phase of our journey, the phase of orientation, Berkeley made us aware of our passions and skills and oriented us toward an appropriate future direction. Most of us somersaulted into Berkeley, overwhelmed by endless opportunities and possible trajectories. But in navigating through Cal's diverse class requirements, interacting with professors, and so much more, we've been appropriately guided down a path that matches our interests. For me, I stumbled into an exciting research project in the Harlan Lab that sparked my interest in regenerative biology. I'd eventually like to utilize this research and my background in athletics 
to bring preventive medicine into orthopedics and target early disease indications before they become chronic. Graduates, we've successfully completed our triathlon of questioning, vulnerability, and orientation. We've made it to the finish line, and we are now equipped with tools to address important problems, and there is clearly no shortage in the world today. I encourage us to confront these problems with the bravery, wholeheartedness, and intellectual rigor that Berkeley has bestowed upon us. Before the rest of our lives commence, I hope we take this celebratory time to reflect and appreciate. I am incredibly thankful for the opportunities Berkeley has provided me, the friendships I've made, and the memories I will carry. And I'm especially thankful I've made it through this speech without collapsing. <laughs> Even though I know my Cal family would help me back up. Graduates, congratulations on all of your accomplishments. Good luck in your future endeavors. And as always, go Bears!